Welcome coders to the introductory video of our newest playlist on the Google Apps Script course. This series of videos is going to cover the Drive service starting out naturally with the Drive app. So the Drive app is the parent class for the service used to access Google Drive and I have been waiting with great anticipation to create this series of videos because Google Drive quite literally integrates with every single other product in the G Suite. So if you haven't noticed already, Google Drive is a file storage system, again for the G Suite. You can upload files to it, you can sort those files and organize those files in a hierarchy of folders, and that is extremely powerful. But that is not all, because you can, obviously you can put your G Suite files in there, so if you have Sheets files, or Slides files, or if you have Docs, you can all store that within the Drive app. But that is, again, not where the power stops, or that is not where the, uh, the greatness of, of Google Drive stops. You can also include, or you can also upload any type of file onto Google Drive. So if you have audio files or image files, video files, if you have Photoshops or, or PDFs, if you have Microsoft files like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, or Apple files like Numbers, Everything that you could even think of can fit with on the Google Drive, which makes it an extremely powerful uh, service to use. So what are the common direct uses of it? Well, like I mentioned before, you can store files of any file type. And I added a little bit, I added a little asterisk to the statement because I wanted to mention that while you can store any file type on Google Drive, the storage capacity across Google Drive Gmail and Google Photos must not exceed 15 gigabytes. So if you have a lot of files and they amass to greater than 15 gigabytes, you cannot add those all within Google Drive, at least on the free tier. So everyone gets a free 15 gigabytes. If you want more storage, you can always pay for more storage, say on Google One. But uh, everyone with the free tier who wants to stay within the free tier has to stay within 15 gigabytes. You cannot exceed that across all of the files that you have stored. All right, so then you can also create and manage folders on Google Drive. So again, this is a file storage system, and this is the same, uh, this is the same archetype as, say, that you would have on your personal laptop. So if you remember from your personal laptop, you have different folders or directories, say like the desktop or the downloads, and then you have different folders within that, and then different folders with that, and then that is how you can store and manage and organize all of your files in kind of like a hierarchy and kind of like a tree organization. And again, that is what we're all familiar with, so you should have no problem understanding how this works as well in Google Drive. All right, and then finally we can access Drive app enums. So again, if you needed to access any of the enums while you're coding in App Script, and, and those are the enums on Google Drive, then you would access Drive app directly and then access those enums. So before we start diving in and exploring all of the ins and outs of the Drive app, let's first get it authenticated in our code editor. Here in the code editor with a brand spanking new project waiting for us to create some incredible things with the Drive app, but first we need to authorize our Drive app to work on our application. So the way to do that is to type in drive app, and then if we hit the period button, if we get this list of methods and enums, then we are doing it all correctly. If you don't get this list, then make sure you have everything spelled correctly, as well as the D and the A capitalized and everything else lowercase, because it is indeed case sensitive. So after you get this list, just uh, click on any of these methods. I'm just going to click on create file. This one looks pretty good. All right, so if I save it now and I hit the run button, then it's going to ask us for authorization. Again, we've seen this in all of our other playlists, so let's review the permissions. All right, we'll click on this account. It says the app isn't verified, it hasn't been reviewed by Google. So we'll go to advanced, we'll go to season 10. And it says season 10 wants to access your Google account. This will allow season 10 to see, edit, create, and delete all of your Google Drive files. But that is okay, again, because we are in control. We are writing all of the code. We know that there is nothing malicious in it. So we are going to scroll down and hit this allow button. 
All right, so now we have just allowed Drive app to uh, work on our application right here, season 10. And we I know we get this error, but that's just because I haven't specified any blob source right here. That doesn't matter for now. What does matter is that we have authorized Drive app to work, and now we can use it in the rest of the videos of this playlist. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and, and learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons, and I'm extremely excited to see you in the upcoming videos where we'll start diving in, diving in a little bit deeper into the Drive app functionality.